Hello everyone. So today we are going to see SQL injection problem in the JDBC. So what is SQL injection? Passing a special SQL injection like dash dash symbol to the SQL query along with the input values of the application and changing the behavior of the SQL query and the underlying app is called SQL injection problem. Hackers uses this technique to hack the account without knowing the username and password. So let us see one of the example. So I have written here JDBC code. Before that, here I have created one uh, table. Here we can see select star from Insta. Then here username as Randy and uh, password as Randy. And uh, username second record has Sandy Sandy. So first of all, we'll see select count of star from the table Insta where username equal to randy and password equal to randy so these are the two matching with this and randy and randy so this will give us a true and after true so count will be one because one record as randy and randy right next one is select count of star from insta where username equal to randy and password equal to sam here you can see username is randy it is correct but uh, password is sam it is not correct so that's why it is giving zero then next one is select count of star where username equal to randy so you are using we are using here randy that's why it is getting one now if what i can do here i am giving wrong password Although I am giving wrong password, I am getting here a 1. Because here we have used this SQL injection. Because after this, SQL will ignore this. It is like a comment. So this will be ignored by the SQL. And here we are getting 1. Here it is only seeing the username. After this dash dash, it is ignoring it. That's why we are getting here a 1. So this is a SQL injection problem. So in the application, we will see here I have written a JDBC code. Here string URL. This is URL pattern. JDBC URL. Then this is username of Oracle and password. Then we will take here a values from the user. Enter username and password by using scanner. The next one is we will create here a connection. Connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection URL name username and password of the Oracle. Then here we will use statement object. Statement ht equal to con dot create statement. Next one here we will write query. So whatever we have discussed the query. Select count of storm from the insta where username and password. So here what we are doing. We will see whether the username and password are valid. Let's assume it as a, uh, one of the application. So in that application, we are writing JDBC code. We are where we are writing logic for validating the username and password. So this is query and we'll print here a query. Then we'll execute this query. So this is a select query. So that's why it will store in the result set. And here also we are getting only one output so here rs dot next and first we'll int count equal to rs dot get int so whatever count we have here uh, taken whatever we will get count that will be stored in this count so if count equal to zero that means invalid credential so if the one of the username and password is wrong in that case we will get zero that means invalid uh, uh, credentials if we will get here one or other then that means that are valid credentials so that's that is the logic for this now let me execute this control f11 so here we will write randy and randy we will get here what valid credential and this is our query but what we can do here let me execute this if i will give here randy and single quote and dash dash and password i will give any random a b c d e f g h i and here we will see valid credential so this is a 
insecure because hacker can use this technique to hack any account without knowing the username and password here we are using we know the username then we can execute this also we can execute if we don't know username that will be c in uh, next part or in this video so let us see we are we know the username and here we are what do we are doing here this is a single quote and this is a dash dash symbol so the query will be select count of star from each star where username equals to randy and dash dash so what is happening i have explained already let me explain again whatever after this dash dash that will be ignored by the sql that means only this query up to randy will be executed and as we have seen there is one record with the username randy that will give one that's why we are getting valid credential so this is a problem this is a sql injection problem so anyone with knowing the uh, username can go into our application now this is for what knowing the username also if you don't know username then also you can log in how so let me execute this control f11 and at the place of username i don't know the username i will give this copy this and paste here and password i will give anything a b c d e f and here we go valid credential here i don't provide any valid username and password although this is giving what valid credential so this is a problem so what happen here select count of star from the insta where so what will happen here is same technique after this dash dash sql will ignore this right and sql only execute this query select count of star from insta where username and or right so then first it will see username so there is no username with xyz in our table but we are having here a or so it will check another condition but here we are having what one equal to one so that will give us what true and it will give us what false f a l s c and here we are having or operate or means any one of is true that will give us a true so that's why it will execute the query and we will get a count as two because we will get here a true here we can go and i have executed the exact query and we are getting a two because we will get here a true one equal to one and this will be ignored by sql and we will get a two because select count of star from each star where here it will be true and it will give us a true so that's why hackers can use this technique to hack the account without knowing the username and password or both so both we have seen if you know the username also you can log in if you don't know username and password also you can log in so how can we solve this issue you can solve this issue by simply using the prepare statement object here what we are using it is here we are using simple statement but let's see it will not work with the we are we will not get this problem with the prepare statement so let me do let me use here prepare statement so for that we will create here object prepared control space prepare statement ps equals to what con dot prepare statement and here we have to write a query so let me copy this query copy this and here we will go so in the place of password we will modify here with the question mark 
क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड पासवर्ड इक्वल्स टू क्वेश्चन मार्क दिस इज वॉट लेट मी क्लोज दिस यस क्वेरी इज डन नाउ वी विल पास हियर अ क्वेरी क्यू यू ई आर वाई क्यू यू ई आर वाई क्वेरी इज पास नाउ लेट मी एक्जीक्यूट दिस फॉर एक्जीक्यूटिंग रिजल्ट सेट कॉपी दिस एंड हेयर वी विल गो पेस्ट हेयर लेट मी डिलीट दिस पी एस डॉट एक्जीक्यूट क्वेरी इट विल गिव अस रिजल्ट सेट एंड हेयर वी विल डू हेयर वी विल प्रिंट द क्वेरी वॉट एवर क्वेरी हैज देन नेक्स्ट इज आर एच डॉट नेक्स्ट एंड वी विल गेट हेयर अकाउंट सो इफ अकाउंट इक्वल टू जीरो देन इट विल बी इन वैलिड एंड अदरवाइज इट विल बी वैलिड सो लेट मी सेव दिस एंड कंट्रोल एफ एलेवन हेयर वील गिव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रैंडी एंड रैंडी सो दिस आर द वैलिड ओ वी आर नॉट सेट द वैल्यूज सो हेयर वील सेट पी एस डॉट सेट स्ट्रिंग एट वन पोजिशन वील पास एज वॉट नेम वॉट एवर यूज आर टेकन पी एस डॉट सेट स्ट्रिंग टू एंड हेयर वी विल पास वॉट पास वर्ड सो वॉट विल हैपन इज वॉट एवर नेम वी आर सेटिंग दैट विल वी गो हियर एंड पासवर्ड विल गो हियर देन वी अवर क्वेरी विल बी एक्जीक्यूटेड सो नाउ इट इज राइट कंट्रोल एफ एलेवन लेट एस सी यूजर नेम वैलिड यूजर नेम रैंडी एंड वैलिड पासवर्ड रैंडी वी विल गेट हियर ए वैलिड क्रेडेंशियल इट इज राइट नाउ लेट एस सी वेदर हियर एस क्यूल इंजेक्शन प्रॉब्लम इज देयर और नॉट so we will use here randy and any password we will try to give so let me go here control f11 if i want here username as randy and here we will save sam and here we get invalid credential that means here we are not getting the sql injection problem so this first we have seen now next one we will see by this example let me copy this and go to the eclipse control f11 let's execute this paste here and password anything a b c d e f g h and invalid we will get invalid yes we are getting invalid credentials so to solve this sql injection problem we should use what prepare statement object instead of simple statement in the simple statement the hackers can use that technique this technique to hack the account without knowing username and password so you must if you are using jdbc in application in your application you must use prepare statement instead of statement so this is a sql injection problem and how can we solve that